This is my proof that I sort of know what I'm talking about. Hello everyone and welcome to a video that no one wants but everyone needs and that's school advice. As a disclaimer, this video will not solve all of your high school problems. However, a lot of the pieces of advice that I do give is very versatile and it will apply to a lot of situations, not only in high school, but in life in general. So before we move on, I really want to apologize to you guys for not posting a video of me in Austria. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should by the way, I made a lot of promises that I was going to make a, an Austria vlog. And I never did because once I had all of the footage together and I put it all and made actually made a video out of it, I ended up not liking it, so I just never posted it. So I am so sorry for that. But I still have some leftover footage, so without further ado, I'm going to just show you my favorite parts that I filmed in Austria. What's up, y'all? Yeah, yeah. I hope this makes it into the vlog. It's me getting Simone's vlog. It's me, hey. and it's Mackenzie, and it's Shayla, and we're here, and we're in Vienna with Simone, whose YouTube channel you're watching. This hotel is so bad. Savannah is trying to get out, bro. <laughs> Again, I am so sorry that I did not have a full vlog of the trip, but there will be a lot of vlogs coming soon, so stay tuned. So this video is going to be split up into three parts. So we will have organizational tips, relationship advice, and just how to stay happy while you are in high school. As another disclaimer, I am not telling you guys what to do or saying that these are the keys to success in, in high school. I'm just telling you what I did to have a mediocre to somewhat pleasant high school experience. So what I did to organize my time and my schedule was that I had a planner and I wrote down literally everything that I had going on in my life in it. I also, every single day, I dedicated a certain amount of time to do everything that I did from the time I left school to the time that I went to bed. I also coded my school supplies in black and white. So sometimes I would have maybe my morning classes would be in black school supplies and then my afternoon classes would be in white school supplies and this just helped me keep track of my supplies so I won't bring the wrong binder and or folder to the wrong class. Lastly I always make sure that I pack my lunch either a day before or a week in advance. So moving on to relationship advice and the first piece of advice that I can give is being nice to your teachers. You have to try your very hardest to just not have an attitude with the teacher or just put your best foot forward when you are talking to your teachers or just interacting with your teachers or just in a classroom in general. And this may be hard to do, I get it, because a lot of teachers can be rude, but you have to remember that you'll only make it worse if you are rude back to those teachers. If you have a real problem with something that is going on in the classroom that involves the teacher, then maybe don't confront them about it go to their superior and that could be the vice principal the principal some sort of supervisor counselor anyone who has authority over their teacher but when you try to tell the teacher what to do that just backfires on you and you just end up not getting 
a good reputation if that makes any sense. The second piece of advice that I can give is staying neutral when it comes to drama. Find out the facts and then think logically and not emotionally about what to do with the facts that you have acquired. If the drama around you does not directly involve you or your best friend, then I personally would just not involve myself with it unless I see someone who is really being affected by this drama. If I see them really sad or crying somewhere around me, I will try my best to make them feel better. I've always tried my best to stay calm and de-escalate any situation that is very tense or if someone is crying or is very upset, I will try to be that person to rant to, I will try to be the shoulder to cry on, I will try to be that person that if you need a hug, I'm here, I will give you all of the hugs because I love hugs, so I will happily give you a hug if you need a hug. Another really good thing that I did that I think everyone should do is set personal space boundaries. Naturally, during the school year, I had this vibe of like, don't talk to me, don't touch me, I have a boyfriend, get away from me. I had that going on unintentionally. It's just naturally who I was. I was just very focused on school. I was never really put in a situation where I had to say, hey, don't do that. Or I was never put in a situation where personal boundary rules really had to be enforced. But I would definitely suggest doing that, especially when you are first meeting someone. And when setting boundaries, you don't have to lay down the law right then and there. Like, don't touch me, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. But if they, along the line of your friendship, they strike a nerve or press a button, that is when you can say, okay, don't do that, or I don't want you to touch me here, or you just hit a nerve, can you like not say that again? It's better to tell them to stop the first time you do it so that, you know, whenever they think of doing that again, then they can say, oh wait, no, this person doesn't like when I do that, okay let me respect their boundaries and let me respect them, I won't do that again and we won't have a problem. Another thing that I did do that I highly encourage a lot of other people to do is leave a person feeling better than when you came to them. This could mean just tell a joke or give them some advice or if they're sad, try to make them happy. This is also a really good way to avoid drama because not a lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about you if the only thing that they can remember about you is that they made you laugh or you made them laugh. Yeah. However, if you use this advice, please make sure your intentions are completely selfless. What I mean by that is making someone happy just for the fact that you want to see them happy, not because you might want something in return. That, my friend, is called manipulation, and if you're doing it, then stop. And if you are a victim of it, or if you know someone who does that, then either tell them about themselves or just leave that person alone because they do not have your best interest at heart. So something that I always found a little hard to do was balancing school and my relationships at the same time. My piece of advice, school over everything. At the end of the day and at the end of the school year or your high school years, it's not your friends that are helping you graduate, it's your schoolwork and it's your teachers who are helping you graduate, so make sure your priorities are in order. My last piece of advice is very important and in fact this is the one that I am telling you not to do. Please do not do this. Don't start a fight. No matter how mad a person makes you, because I know some very infuriating people, no matter how mad a person makes you, please do not make up in your mind that you are going to go up to another living, breathing human being and physically hurt them. You will never catch me fighting unless I am defending myself or I am breaking up a fight. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna talk about is staying happy during school. So whenever I personally felt stressed out or discombobulated and disorganized, what I would usually do is I would organize my room, I would clean my room, I would clean other rooms, I would make lists of 
literally anything just to make me feel organized and to balance out the disarray that I was feeling previously. I've always had and I still have a really bad habit of procrastinating. Procrastinating? But whenever I did finish an assignment or just get a task done in advance or as soon as I get it, I definitely feel so much better and I can just do whatever I want afterwards. So luckily the school that I went to is made for artistic students to express themselves. So whenever I feel frustrated, I let it all out in my art. So if you guys are ever frustrated or you feel like you just need to get it out, try doing something artistic or adventurous or try just try something new you never know so whenever i finished all of my assignments or sometimes when i didn't finish my assignments um, i would hang out with my friends and i would hang out with my boyfriend a lot um and i would hang out with my family just because they make me feel better also i used to always meditate my life away like almost every single day i would meditate for at least 10 minutes i don't know why i stopped but I stopped and I need to not stop. I have like all of the candles and like the chakras and like, I need to get back into that because that made me feel real good, real good. And lastly, whenever I had issues, I always tried to talk to someone. This could be a friend, my parents, my boyfriend, anybody. And when I didn't really wanna say anything to them, I would always talk to my school psychologist about serious issues that I had and I mean, psychologists are kind of binded by the law to keep your stuff you know secret so I could definitely trust him with the stuff that I had so those were all of my high school tips I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up because it is currently one o'clock in the morning and I have filmed this video four freaking times I'm tired and I want to go to bed Please like up this video. <laughs> Follow me on my social medias that will be in the description box below. Again, like and subscribe, hit the bell, you know the deal. Comment down below if you want to see any more of these advice type videos because I really like to make them. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Sing. Sing. I don't care what anyone says in the comments. This song is a bop. Okay, this is a bop. It's a bop until Jasmine comes in, but it's still a bop. I don't even like the movie anymore. I just want to listen to that because that is a bop. 100% and that's all. Period. Point blank bottom line. That's a bop. I don't care. <laughs> see my hands. <laughs> just making sure you can see my little hands. A little disarray hands. These are my disarray hands. This is disarray. <laughs> oh, that's on. <coughs> Why? <sighs> what time is it? Uh, I know fantastic point of view. Oh, yes. A video that no one wants but everyone needs with this as a thumbnail. <laughs> That's a thumbnail. <laughs> it's 12.56. You don't believe me? Hello? Why is my phone dark like this? I don't want it. I have a white background to go with my white curtains and my white shirt and my white boyfriend. <laughs> Someone put me to bed. Please. Bye. I need to turn this off. Bye.